Imagine being able to control your entire iPhone with just two taps on its back. No joke. It's a feature called back tap. And most people have no idea it even exists. Apple has been hiding it in the settings for years. And with every new update, it just keeps getting smarter and more powerful. Anyone who knows how to use it properly can literally turn their phone into a super tool. Stick with me till the end. You'll find this feature in the settings like this. Settings. Accessibility. Touch. Back tap. You'll see two options, double tap, triple tap. Each of them can be assigned to a different action. For example, double tap, take a screenshot, triple tap, turn on the flashlight. And of course you can do a lot more than that. I'll explain how in a moment. So how can you use it smartly? Most people use it for simple things like the flashlight or screenshots. But this feature becomes seriously powerful when you combine it with the Shortcuts app. That's when it turns from a fun trick into a real superpower. For example, you can create a shortcut in the Shortcuts app that does this. When you double tap the back of your iPhone, it turns alarm on and Bluetooth off. So how do you do that? Here's a practical example. Double tap turns alarm on and Bluetooth off. Open the Shortcuts app. It's pre-installed on your iPhone. Tap the plus icon at the top to create a new shortcut. In the search bar at the top, type set alarm. Choose set alarm and set it to on. In the same screen, search for Set Bluetooth. Choose Set Bluetooth and set it to Off. Go back one page. Tap the new shortcut. Choose Rename and name it Alarm on Bluetooth Off. Tap Done to save it. Now you've created a ready-to-use shortcut. Go back to Settings. Accessibility. Touch. Back Tap. Choose Double Tap. Scroll to the bottom and you'll see a section called Shortcuts. Find the shortcut you just made, Alarm on Bluetooth Off, and select it. That's it. From now on, whenever you double tap the back of your iPhone, it will automatically turn the alarm on and turn Bluetooth off. A few very important notes. If you try this method with Wi-Fi, it might not turn Wi-Fi on if it's completely turned off. It can open the Wi-Fi settings instead because Apple restricts programmatic control over Wi-Fi for security and battery reasons. If your phone doesn't respond to tapping, your case might be too thick. Try using a thinner case and remember, tap gently, not hard. The sensor works with vibration, not force light taps are enough. In iOS 26.1, you can even make it work while the phone is locked if you set up the shortcut correctly. This feature is great for simple uses, but its true power appears when you connect it with the Shortcuts app, which lets you perform smart actions with just one or two taps on the back of your iPhone, exactly as I showed you above. If your phone moves around a lot in your pocket or while driving, it might sometimes detect a false tap. But that's very rare Apple significantly improved this in iOS 16, 17, and 18. And by iOS 26.1,
it's almost completely fixed. Devices that support backtap. This feature works on iPhone 8 and later from iPhone 8 up to iPhone 15 Pro Max and all newer models. It requires iOS 14 or later, but ideally, you should be updated to the latest version, iOS 26.1. The feature relies on the accelerometer and gyroscope sensors inside the iPhone. They detect subtle movements or light taps on the back and translate them into signals or commands for the system to execute your chosen function. Apple ensures this works with very high accuracy. Random bumps won't trigger it unless you intentionally tap with the right amount of force. In the end, back tap isn't just a cute trick, it's a powerful tool that lets you control your iPhone in a magical way. It's a hidden gem, but once people see what it can do, everyone will want to try it immediately. See you in the next video.